is my incubator again and I figured I'd just do a how-to on how to make an incubator you could pretty much do it out of anything if you can build a wood box with a door on it you can make an incubator um, this is a old old portable dishwasher worked out great because I had a countertop on top and and it's already insulated because it's a dishwasher little refrigerators work great um, you know freezers refrigerators um, wooden cabinets if you can you know if you can get them so that there's not necessarily airtight but so that there's not a lot of leaks and it holds heat well you can use it so let's look inside and I'll show you what what we got here okay I left the racks in here which eventually I might pull out but this is my incubator like I said it's just a dishwasher put your soap in here no um let's see uh so I left these in here because I figured it'd be easy to pull out so here's the tubs that I'll be using I should have a in another month or two I should have uh some eggs but but this is it this is the incubator all you do is when you get whatever you're going to use for it you're going to want to run heat tape this is 11 inch flex watt you can use anything I mean whatever whatever you can find to heat um, so you're gonna run that you just gotta figure out how much you need to heat the space you have um, I just guessed on what I needed and ended up being good to go so I had a, a bigger fan in here and it was cooling it off too fast so I ended up buying these this fan system on Amazon, the set of four fans, and uh, I mean it was like twenty bucks for the set of four fans. So you uh, hook them all up. I made little brackets to hold it to to for this fan to shoot shoot it up, and then this fan's gonna pull the air down so it circulates it around, and then these two fans just circulate through the whole the whole incubator this way just to keep the airflow moving um, let's see up here you can see the probe to my helix right there that's that is up in there and that, that's up there is the helix it runs out there and it that keeps that tells you what temperature you want it and where it's at so these are just water bottles I just put these water bottles in here just to help keep the heat in more water water is a good insulator and so when you open it it'll heat back up a little bit quicker if you have the water in there and I don't really think I need it but I just did it anyways um, and then setting up your vermiculite that's how you set that up oh, battery died on that which I have a another external probe they right up there that I uh can keep track of the actual heat inside of at least one of the one of the boxes so what you do with your vermiculite you have it which it's dried out because I set this up a while ago eh, not too bad but you uh, you go by weight you weigh your vermiculite and then add the same amount and weight of water to it to get it to the right so you have the right humidity inside of here and then this is a tip that I got from Jacob Elker Reptiles. I use this light diffusing stuff. I cut it down to fit inside and, and I like this. That way the eggs aren't directly on there and hopefully they won't get too wet or anything. If your vermiculite's too wet then they won't suck up all that moisture and, and kill the eggs basically. But that's a simple incubator. Real easy. Um, we're going to throw this thing out and I was like, oh no, hold on, I'll, I'll use this, I'll figure out something with this, so go on Craigslist and uh, put an ad on there, wanted, broken dishwasher, or broken refrigerator, or broken freezer, whatever you need, and build an incubator out of it. This just worked out good for me, like I said, I got the countertop so you can do things on it, clean, whatever you gotta do. But, gotta wash my eggs here.